It is Monday, February 20th, 2023. Many thanks for joining us on Prime News over my media, Prime TV. I am Sama Aileen for presentation. Former Cameroonian Minister of Mines, Industries and Technological Development, Gabriel Dodo Ndoki, has been elevated to the dignity of commander of the other of Valor, while he was laid to rest in his hometown in Baturi over the weekend. Meanwhile, Penda Ndale, one-time Cameroonian Makosa Icon, was also laid to rest during the weekend. Dolly Ngonde recounts. The past weekend has been characterized with the funeral services of some great state personalities as the arrival of Prime Minister Joseph Diangute, President Paul Bia's representative, did open the way for the official funeral in honor of the late Minister Gabriel Dudondoke. After the procession, the Prime Minister positioned the wreath from the presidential couple as the last funeral mass for Minister Dodondoke was set by the Bishop of Baturi, Monseigneur Marcele Marie Dapnim, as he did invite the mourners to learn that death can come to anyone at any time. He further called on them to prepare through repentance and good works just like the departed minister. Meanwhile, eulogies for the former minister Gabriel Dodondoke spoke of a loving father, a good manager and a loyal politician. In addition, President Paul Bia's condolence message to the bereaved family was also read by the senior divisional officer for the Cadier Division. And for the last time, the nation honored the minister for services rendered. The President of the Republic and his wife have been very touched by this uh, loss of this young minister. And that's why he decreed an official burial. The entire government uh, associates itself with me to express our deepest condolences to the family of the bereaved, to the entire ministry. And um, it's a big loss because the minister Gabriel Dodondoke was uh, quite an efficient minister. Gone too soon, his family and community say, but forever in their hearts he remains they affirmed in painful tears. And in the same light, in an atmosphere of total solemnity and serenity, the popular Cameroonian Makosa legend Pindandale has been laid to rest. The final journey began with a funeral service which saw the attendance of literal regional delegates of arts and culture, Dr. Francois Edimo, personal representative of the Minister of Arts and Culture, as well as a college of artists who came to pay their last respect to the Makosa legend. He was like a brother to me. So now he passed away. May the Lord Almighty just give him. Um, it's Cameroon's legendary Makosa artist Pindandale, who died in December last year, has been laid to rest at the Ngondi Cemetery for eternity. Away from the sadness, supporters of the CPDM Mezam 1C section in the Bamenda 3 subdivision of the Northwest during a joint section conference on the theme Unity, Development and Consolidation for Peace have urged the head of state to provide more job opportunities to the youths as a means to end the socio-political unrest in that part of the country. Charles Kebwa reports from Bamenda. The Mezam 1C Section Joint Conference, Bamenda 3 Subdivision, Mezam Division of the Northwest, February 18, 2023, at the Northwest Front Union Building, on the theme Unity, Development and Consolidation for Peace, a bold step since the creation of Mezam 1C Section of the CPDM in 2016, supporters promise to win upcoming elections and satisfy the population of Bamenda 3 remain still fast in the ideas of the New Deal. We will not be able to organize a joint section conference because of all, all what we know 
this is your great practice in Norway. When we could not wait for how long we have to take the group and we organize this conference. And uh, I want to say that it's because of the enthusiasm that's within the militants of the Muslim ones, they feel happy going into this city. Honorable Nicholas Chendaka, Mesam 1C section president in a conference report, regret the senseless crisis that has claimed the lives of many, scared some party militants to move into hiding, others homes burned, kidnapped, and paid ransom, etc., etc. Party activities were reported slow due to the socio-political unrest in the region, said youth and women wing of the party in the Mezam 1C section have mobilized over 1,000 persons registered into the ongoing electoral process. In a motion of support to the party and party chair, members of the CPD Mezam 1C section promise victory to the party in all elections. We that the CPDM and Mesa Monsi is strong and powerful. And just like the head of state who resonates to protect his birthday, we saw him, he came out strong and vibrant. We're also assuring him that the CPDM and Mesa Monsi is strong and vibrant. And will forever remain behind him because he is the chosen leader of the nation. For Nazefo the third, for Navunquen enjoying all to keep working hard for peace in the Bamena 3 subdivision, which he says it's priceless. The Mezam 1C section of the CPDM party supporters implored head of state to provide more job opportunity to youths as a means of ending the sociopolitical unrest in the region. Onto something else, elements of the second national gendarmerie Lejong of the littoral region have dismantled a network of uh, cocaine dealers in Koto Mbange, a neighborhood in the Douala 5 municipality. The operation was led by Lieutenant Colonel Sumbosu Patrick, commandant of the littoral gendarmerie Lejong. Details right ahead. The drugs which were about to be distributed to dealers in Douala and beyond were fabricated in this furnished apartment turned into a cocaine laboratory at the Koto Mbange neighborhood in Douala. About three kilograms of the hard drugs were seized from these young men said to be Nigerians. The hard drugs, according to Lieutenant Belibi Onana of the Douala National Gendarmerie, was to fetch these fellows some 50 million francs EFA. He added that the drugs are usually sold between the rates of 2,000 and 40,000 francs EFA on the streets. The suspects, who are big dealers in the business, illegally set up their network in Cameroon all the way from neighboring Nigeria. Note that Lieutenant Colonel Sumbuso Patrick, Gendarmerie Commandant of the Littoral Legion, who led the operation, emphasized that in an effort to cleanse the city of Douala of drugs and drug dealers, he and his men have intensified operations in suspected neighborhoods and houses in the city. He also called on all inhabitants of the economic capital of Cameroon to report any suspects or shady dealings in their various neighborhoods as a measure to combat the criminals. It is worth noting that the suspects who are aged between 31 and 32 years are currently awaiting trial at the Douala Court of First Instance, Littoral Region, Cameroon. Now this human interest story, an abandoned fetus has been discovered in a stream over the weekend in the Kong Samba 1 municipality, Mongo division of the littoral region of Cameroon. Catherine Akongwe tells us more. Anger and consternation are the emotions that have characterized the people at the Collins Roundabout in the Konsamba 1 municipality of the Mungo Division, littoral region of Cameroon, following the discovery of a fetus abandoned in a stream. <laughs> The innocent baby who asked for no one's permission to come to this world was coldly aborted by his mother who is yet to be identified. Meantime, the action has aroused anger from the population who have strongly condemned the action as such. 
L'enfant se lève la main quand je ne connais pas. Mais le Seigneur a vu. Mon bébé, repose en paix. Et tu lui fais mon bébé, je repose en mon paix. Mon bébé, mon Dieu, lui, elle est là. Pas toi, par laquelle elle n'aura plus d'enfant. Elle n'aura plus d'enfant. Elle ne même pas vivre. Parce que si elle cherche, elle va avoir 15 ans. Ça va être Elle n'aura plus d'enfant. Dieu va te punir. Elle est là-bas de elle pleure qui n'ont pas d'enfant. Beaucoup de gens n'ont pas d'enfant. Non, mais pas parce que je ne sais pas ça. Dieu nous donne la voix d'un jeté. Ça me fait mal. Je n'ai pas de garçon. Je vois pas ça me fait mal. Meanwhile, others have declared this to be a crime, as a child could be a great person in future. If a girl child goes out carelessly, it is to look for a child, and it is bad when she gets pregnant and abandons the baby in a stream. This is a crime, and this is a man who is in the water. What people are searching, bird cannot find. Seriously, I don't know what she was thinking before doing this. And this child could be the future president of the republic or even a governor. But she decided to abandon the baby in the water. At press time, the file of this crime has been entrusted to the research brigade for justice to be done, while investigations have been opened by the Gendarmerie Post Unit to track down the perpetrators of these awful acts. We now take you to Kumba, southwest region of uh, Cameroon, where commercial bike riders have protested against the death of their colleague caused uh, by a military uh, truck. This uh, was uh, after an accident that occurred over the weekend around Alaska Street entrance, Kumba. Naivona tells us more. Members of the Commercial Bike Riders Trade Union in Kumba have staged a protest to the headquarters of the Divisional Officer for Kumba 1 in Meme Division Southwest Region after one of theirs was crushed to death by a military truck in Kumba. The tragic incident occurred over the weekend at the Alaska Street entrance, a locality in Kumba when a military convoy was heading for Boya, capital of the southwest region. The accident resulted in the death of the commercial bike rider, while a female passenger who was on board of the motorbike during the incident sustained severe injuries and later died in the hospital. The bike riders' trade union, in a bid to express their anger towards the unfortunate incident, staged a protest to the divisional officer's headquarters in Kumba 1. The divisional officer for Kumba 1, Ali Anugu, on his part, called on the angry bike riders to remain calm and uphold responsible behavior, especially amidst the socio-economic crisis. That, uh, this commercial motorcycle riders rally to express anger against uh, one of them who died uh, through an accident yesterday. Uh, we don't yet know the circumstances under which he died. So I decided to intervene and uh, calm them down to explain to them how they have to operate in responsibility and uh, how to operate uh, in respect of the regulations in the According to official information, the military convoy was on its way back from escorting a dozen trucks belonging to a brewery company and was involved in a 45-minute exchange of gunshots around the Bombay neighborhood, which left several military men severely injured. The top-speeding military truck was therefore transporting wounded military men before running into the motorbike at the Alaska Street entrance. The such incident has however left many calling on the population to be vigilant, especially while on highways across the country. Now, some internally displaced uh, widows, orphans and physically challenged persons residing in the West region of Cameroon have benefited from the largesse of some goodwill ambassadors. The event that took place February 18, 2023 in Chang saw many IDPs going home smiling. Colette Alum with details.
Sensitization messages calling on the beneficiaries to put their trust in God. This is the first move during the meeting which brought together orphans, widows, people living with disabilities and internally displaced people from the northwest and southwest regions, February 18 at the Baptist Church in Chang. Yes, I will stand at her, but God so kind, he do a miracle today for we. I've been an IDP and a widow. I want to thank God so don't wipe away our tears and the word of encouragement, the advice, the word of God, I be very few, I be very few, few, few with the word of God and the encouragement. Thank you, Mr. Terence. See, may God give you more grace. May God add him many, many more years and his staff so that we will receive, we'll receive more at the end and some years to come and some few months to come. May God give you extra power. May God give you the 60 people, as they were briefed on the different actions of their donor through Bible verses, they were equally reassured of being loved. Bags of rice, cooking oil, soap, in addition to clothes and also blankets, medicines, milk, and some items for teenage girls put a smile on their faces. The organizer of this charity, our Mr. Terence, I thank all the members of the charity we have received Everything we have received the rice, the granite oil, and the soap with more other things. We thank and we pray that may God fortify them, may God empower them, and may God provide unto them so that they can help next time. The initiative aimed at spiritually encouraging the poor. The Faith Boss Charity Mission, Champ Branch. So, the reason, the aim of our organization is we seek to, uh, to assist the widows, the orphans, and the less privileged in our localities and worldwide. So that is the reason why we are here. So, and the, some of the criteria we use to who are here, we, we search, we walk down, others we contacted some pastors from other churches, and we took their numbers. Then we had a form to fill, where we ask you your name, we ask you what you are doing, Ask if you have any budget, if you have any difficulty, then we seek because we seek to know your support you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So we ask all these questions before we fill our form, our consent form also. Before that's why we are we are gathered here. Such an initiative is laudable putting smiles on the faces of women and girls suffering as a result of the ongoing Anglophone crisis in the country. Now on to health, February 14 to 21 is observed as STIs and Condom Awareness Week. The health campaign seeks to encourage individuals to make better choices about their sexual health as an essential piece of one's overall health. Bukengo Worthy tells us more in the following report. Being a barrier method of contraception, condoms are a very thin latex rubber designed to help prevent pregnancy by stopping the sperm from meeting an egg. A claim to be the best way of protecting oneself against unwanted pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections and diseases such as gonorrhea, genital herpes, human papilloma virus, HIV and AIDS, chlamydia, hepatitis B, syphilis and more, experts say condoms are estimated to be 98% effective at protecting against most STDs like chlamydia and gonorrhea and if used properly can effectively prevent HIV, the AIDS causing virus. Around the world, more than 1 million new sexually transmitted infections are acquired every day, with an estimated 50% of its sufferers being used aged 15 to 24 years old. According to data from the World Health Organization, there exist more than 30 different bacteria, viruses and parasites which can be sexually transmitted amounting to an estimated 374 million new infections yearly, with the most common being genital herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea, hepatitis B, and chlamydia. It should be borne in mind that sexually transmitted infections have direct impact on one's sexual and reproductive health through stigmatization, infertility, pregnancy complication, and cancers over time. 
The condom has said to prevent 98% of all sexually transmitted diseases and infections. Others like hepatitis B, HIV and AIDS, chlamydia, gonorrhea that are spread through bodily fluids also cannot be prevented by condoms. Nonetheless, maintaining proper sexual hygiene, using condoms properly to avoid breaking during sexual intercourse, regular usage of condoms during intercourse, regular checkup at the hospital for STIs, a method encouraged by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention for each and all to help reduce prevalence of sexually transmitted diseases and infection worldwide. On to this sports brief, in continuation of uh, the MTN Elite 1 and 2 championships, as well as uh, March the 7 of uh, the Guinness Super League games, there were some matches that were played over the weekend, which produced telling a result. Victoria United FC of Limbe is top on the Elite 2 table, and Leke FC is also top on the Guinness Super League table, while UMS of Loom and Bambutus are leaders of Pool A and B of uh, the Cameroon Elite 1 classification table, respectively. On to this other sports story, captains of uh, the Cameroon senior national team of both categories, uh, Vincent Abubakar and uh, Abudu Ongene, uh, keep defending their titles in recent outings. Today, Magdala Ayong Bisong takes a look at their similarities and considers them to be substitute game changers. Take a listen. Cameroon's senior national team captains Vincent Abubakar and Gabriel Abudion Gene have been on the lips of almost everyone lately following their incredible performances. With an almost similar name appellation, Abudion Gene, just like Abubakar Vincent, are unarguably considered game changers, although the needful when it is least expected. The indomitable Lionesses team captain Abudion Gene came off the bench at the 70th minute to score a brace in Cameroon's 2-0 win over Thailand in the FIFA Women's World Cup playoffs last Saturday. The 33-year-old CSKA Moscow forward has been at the national team since 2008. This victory took the Lionesses closer to the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup to be staged in Australia and New Zealand in July and August this year. She is expected to lead the team again this Wednesday when they face Portugal in the last FIFA World Cup playoff fixtures. It should be noted that the introduction of Lions captain Vincent Abubakar in the game Cameroon vs Serbia during the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar was a pivotal moment of the game. Brought in at the 55th minute, Abubakar scored and provided an assist for Cameroon who came from two goals down to draw with Serbia 3-3. Equally, during the third place 2021 AFCON game on home soil between Cameroon and Burkina Faso, Vincent Abubakar came in at the 46th minute when the Lions were three goals down to score two, a game that ended in a three-all tie. A day like the 2017 AFCON final cannot be forgotten in a hurry. Vincent Abubakar came on as a substitute to score the winning goal that earned Cameroon her fifth AFCON title. Abubakar also came on as a substitute in Yaoundé against Nigeria and scored in September 2017, replacing Jean-Pierre Same who made his international debut for Cameroon that day. This was the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifiers game that ended 1-1. It is worth noting too that during the friendly organized in 2020 for the indomitable Lions and the local Lions of Cameroon, Captain Abubakar was brought in the second half and he scored two to seal a 3-1 win over the local Lions. These two captains have proven to be true flag bearers of the nation and even at their clubs where they boast of arguably impressive performances. And so, it is fair to say that Abudi Ongene and Abu Bakar Vensang, Cameroon's national senior team captains, are the substitute game changers. 
Thank you, Magdela Ayong, for that sports report that concludes today's edition of uh, Prime News over my media prime television. I have been Sama Aileen for a presentation. The news was produced by Keba Desmond and uh, compiled by uh, Fetata Editor in Chief. Have a pleasant and a blessed night until tomorrow. But do not go anywhere because Prime Eye is coming up next with Kum Leonard and his team. Bye for now.